All right, I believe we're taking a look at number 15 on 7.7. .7. Um, and this is asking us to find the cosine of 22 and a half degrees. And if you're wondering about the significance, that's half of 45. Okay. So what I'd like to try to do here is I'd like to try to come up with an angle that is, or try to come up with a relationship that somehow has half of a 45 degree angle in it. Uh, the way I'm going to do this, actually, I'm going to use the cosine double angle um, identity. Um, cosine of two theta is equal to twice the cosine of theta squared minus one. Okay, um, and I'm actually going to solve for the cosine of theta. Um, so I'm going to add one to both sides of this equation. Okay, so that's cosine of two theta plus one is equal to two cosine squared of theta. And I'm going to divide both sides by two. And when I divide this by two, it's going to knock out the two on, on that side. And so uh, we're going to have cosine squared of theta uh, is equal to this thing over here. Uh, and then I'm going to take the square root. Now, if I take the square root on the right-hand side, uh, the square root on the right-hand side, I'm just going to end up getting, um, well, I'm just going to end up getting cosine of theta. Okay, um, so over here, if I take the square root, we just end up with cosine of theta. So I'm going to erase that square there. And uh, anyway, you look at this, you say, well, what's the significance? Here's, here's why this is significant. Notice the two inputs in this formula. This says I'm putting in the cosine of twice an angle. And I get back the cosine of a single angle. Okay, this is actually what's referred to as the half angle identity. In other words, if I want the cosine of 22.5, I put 22.5 in here, it's going to get multiplied by 2 over on this side, and then we're taking the cosine of 45, okay? Uh, and basically, we can just substitute into that to get, so the point is, the value on the right-hand equation is half the value um, over on the left-hand equation, and so we can use a cosine of 45 end up finding a value for something half of that, okay? So anyway, if you evaluate this statement, uh, cosine of 45 degrees is radical 2 over 2, uh, then plus 1, and you're dividing by 2, and you're taking the square root. Um, did I say it would be neat and tidy? No. Um, you know, could that be simplified into some different forms? Probably. Um, but again, if you were just trying to come up with a way to get an exact value for a cosine of 22.5, that's how you could do it. And by the way, the same kind of setup, if you want to find a cosine of 15, um, you can put a 15 over in the right side of that original equation. That would give you a cosine of 30 on the left-hand side. Um, you know, that can be used for any other half of any other trig value you know how to find. So anyway, maybe not super important as an application, but I think still kind of an interesting connection to some of the things that we've been working with.